Hey everyone, welcome back to Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today we're going to be making something that most everybody enjoys, Turkish coffee or Greek coffee. Um, now, if you want this recipe or any of my other recipes, make sure to go to my website at ddmed.com and you can find all my recipes written out, listed with measurements and everything. Now, Greek or Turkish coffee is uh, very traditional in the Mediterranean countries. It actually originated in Yemen thousands of years ago and moved its way up to uh, through the Middle East and the Mediterranean area and many thousands and millions of people enjoy it every single day. Um, I used to always uh, have to make this for my mom on the weekends. She'd say, oh great, make me a pot of coffee and she'd sit and she'd slowly sip it. She'd invite her friends over for a little bit of brunch and they'd sit and sip coffee for hours. Um, it's very enjoyable, it's supposed to be a very relaxing experience and it's actually healthy for you. Um, in one of Dr. Oz's episodes, he actually mentioned that it is good for you and for your blood vessels and veins for your heart and helps prevent heart disease. So uh, that's the upside to coffee. Um, now if you need any of these uh, ingredients, if you can't find the coffee at any of your local uh, Mediterranean, Turkish, Greek, Middle Eastern grocery stores, you can find it on my website. Just go to my store page. You can find uh, the coffee. You can actually also find the coffee pots and traditional coffee pots, uh, coffee cups there. So anything you need for this recipe or many of my other recipes, you can find on my store page. Here we have some sugar. Some people like it with sugar. Some people don't. So if you like your coffee a little bit sweet, you can add some sugar. Here we have the uh, ground coffee. Now this is ground up on a uh, espresso grind, which is the finest grind. And if you feel it, it's almost like a flour uh, texture. So it's very, very, very smooth. That way you can extract more uh, flavor from the coffee beans. You have more surface area to extract more flavor. Uh, you'll also need a traditional coffee pot, which you can also find on my website, and just some water. So I've heated up uh, the water. You want to fill it about three-fourths of the way full because uh, you want to leave room obviously for the coffee beans. Now I like to add some sugar to my coffee. I don't like it um, very bitter. So you just want to stir in your sugar. And then what you'd like to do, now depending on how strong you like the coffee, you want to add two to three heaping medium-sized spoons of the coffee. This is a big pot. I'm going to do three spoons. Now some people also like to get their uh, Greek or Turkish coffee beans ground with some cardamom. Um, it gives it a nice uh, flavor and when you make it sweet it also uh, gives it that nice uh, uh, accent of a uh, uh, spice. So it, it's, it's very nice. So what we're going to do now, we stir it in the coffee. We're going to let this come up to a very light simmer three times. So you're going to watch now and you know it's going to come to a nice simmer. You're going to have this nice foam that forms on the top and that's what you want. You want the foam on the top of the coffee and you don't want to get rid of that and you don't want to overboil it because then you're going to lose your foam. So we're just going to give this a nice slight stir and then we're going to wait and let it come to up to a nice simmer. We're going to move it off the heat for just a second, give it a small stir, put it back on the heat. Now this foam that forms on the top is called the crema. Um, and as you can see right now, it's coming up to just a slight simmer. See how it's forming? And you don't want this to uh, overflow, so make sure you stand by your coffee. So see how it's coming up? We're going to remove it just for a second. Give it a nice little stir. Put it right back on. Now this process takes just a few minutes. It does not take that long. And you never want to leave your coffee pot because I promise as soon as you move your eyes, it will overflow. So there's our second. A nice small stir. And I'm going to let it go one more time. And there it goes. That's it. So we finished with our coffee. We uh, simmered it. Um, and we brought it up to a boil three times. You want a nice simmer. You want to end up with a nice, 
crema or foam on the top of the coffee. It's very important to have this because when you serve it, people can tell it's a nice, good quality made coffee. You also want to let it sit for about a minute or two before you serve it. That way the coffee grinds settle to the bottom of the pot and you don't end up with a bunch of coffee grinds in your coffee cup. So, um, you can serve it in the traditional uh, coffee cup, uh, which you can find on my website, or you can serve it in just a nice espresso glass. Um, so you want to pour it into the glass and make sure that you always end up with some of the foam in there. And if you're serving more than one person, I would put, pour a little into a glass, pour a little into the other one, just to make sure everybody gets uh, a little bit of that foam on there on top, the crema. Beautiful. Nice white creamish color crema which is the foam on top of the coffee cup the coffee pot also comes with a nice uh, lid so you can keep it warm this is generally served and uh you drink it nice leisurely way you don't rush and you know gulp down your cup of coffee or your shot of espresso it's a very nice leisurely way to enjoy in morning or an afternoon it's also served with a glass of water always because it helps to cleanse your palate and just relax so I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you want this recipe or any of my other ones, make sure to join, uh, check out my website at ddmed.com and I will see you again.